just like how these waves are guiding our ferry, how we can guide visitors of our websites to answer any questions that they have using a chatbot. But this time, using a chat GPT based chatbot. And don't worry, you won't get lost at sea because with proper virtual agents, you can do this. I mean, creating a GPT based chatbot with just a couple of clicks. Then, let's go. Hello everyone, this is MG and welcome to another video. I know we have been talking a lot about opening our chat GPT large language models because this topic will never end and there are a ton of opportunities and a lot of possibilities that I'm doing my best to share them with you. Now this time, we know that we can already create chatbots for our websites to answer our visitors' questions, right? But previously, in order to create those chatbots, you had to come up with lists of potential questions and sort of a framework that guide your chatbot how to answer specific questions. Now this time, and as of now, we have ChatGPT, which is without any pre-training, you can start asking any question and it can already give you the answer. So the main question here is, can we, can use, can we use GPT based chatbot or chat GPT capabilities in a chatbot that we can enable it for our website to start answer any potential questions for visitors coming into our websites about our company, about our products, about our services, without necessarily designing a list of questions and potential framework and a manual work to have those chatbots to be enabled, be in our website and perform properly. And yes, we just power your agents, you can do that a couple of clicks and this is what we're gonna do this for this video. Then let's check it out. Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video. Thank you. All right, now this time, let's talk about how you can empower your website with creating some chatbot for your visitors coming into your website to answer their questions, but using GPT or something similar to ChatGPT. The, the power of large language models, this time coming into a chatbot that is enabled in your website. Well, I think almost all of us are familiar with what is chatbot, right? We have seen a ton of different websites when you open them up, uh, there is a virtual agent automatically pops up on the top right, left, whatever in, in, in location of the screen and I start to tell you that, hey, I'm your virtual assistant, how can I help you? And you can start asking questions like, what is your operation hours? Or uh, how can I contact the company? Oh, here is the phone number. So in order to create those chatbots before before sort of the announcement of OpenAI, Azure OpenAI and ChatGPT, you had to create a list of topics and entities to tell that, for example, if someone asks what is operation hours, or if someone asks when do you close, when do you open, are you available on weekends, blah, 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 these are similar topics, and the answer should be here are the working hours, right? But the challenge is sometimes you cannot really predict what's going to be your visitors' questions, right? You cannot prepare the Q&A list for your chatbot or prepare topics for your chatbot because you never know what visitor gonna ask right that's why sometimes those chatbots are, are behaving in a weird manner and usually users for example myself i'm not typically a huge fan of those chatbots when i see what a website I, I rarely use them but now there's a game changing story happening here as you can see which are gonna add the, this uh reference documentation from microsoft uh docs as of now that I'm recording this video, it has been published on January, February, March. So this is pretty new, it's still in preview. The time that you're watching this video, maybe this is no longer in preview. But as of now, you can create chatbots that use GPT. And it is empowered by Azure OpenAI and OpenAI's GPT Power. Okay, that means no longer you need to create those prepared Q&A, those topics, entities, like when you ta talk with chat gpt you don't necessarily tell answer like this or do not answer this and that you can do so but even if you don't it still it can work for you so the same thing we're gonna do for our chatbots to enable it for our website couple of things in order to try this again be cautious this is in preview 
and if you want to give it a try as of now the bot must be created in us region again this is preview the time that you're watching this video maybe this is already gone so make sure you check the updated document when you watch this video uh, you need to have an account for power visual agents or shortened by PVA this is what we're going to use to create a GBT based chatbot for our website and lastly you need to again as of now enable the preview version of this chatbot I'm going to show you actually how I can do so but when the preview is done maybe this is no longer a prerequisites. okay so let's get into my power virtual agent platform again if you don't have a power virtual agent account or you have not created click on this link here to tell you how you can create one and as you create you will log in with your credentials and this is what you will see as your power virtual agent homepage. well if I click on chatbots here is a list of chatbots I have created regardless of what they are if you want to create one you click on new chatbot and this is the new GPT based chatbot that we're going to create for our website so previously this was the only thing available you had to create your topics entities and stuff I told you like Q&A but now no longer needed I click on this one it is asking me just give it a name I type it let's say test which already exists I don't want to create one because I did we just want to show you how I did and then enter your website this is the place you have to put the, the URL of your website make sure your website is indexed that means it is available by Bing search engine so if you search your company through Bing if your website is available and indexed that means you can use that URL so make sure you're using uh, the correct URL here and what I actually did for this demo I, I, I tried something cool so I went to learn.microsoft.com which is let me open this up for you this is a website and it has documentation to all almost Microsoft services and Azure services right Azure machine learning Azure Databricks everything so I was like let's create a chatbot based on this website so later on if I have questions let's say about Azure stack Bing maps whatever I can just use my chatbot to ask that hey I have this quest specific questions from Azure maps or Azure DevOps and the chatbot should sort of give me the answer or give me the link that has my answer as the referral document here right so I added I then I typed learn.microsoft.com as my website and I clicked on create and this is what happened the name that I chose for my bot I called it MG Azure ML Docs I wanted to do it, do it for Azure ML documentation but I changed my mind I did it for our Microsoft documentation so I clicked on it after you click on create this is sort of what you will see and again I haven't created any list of Q&A I didn't create any entity topic as soon as I created the chat bot here's the chat available for me and let's give it a try I want to ask for example I want to create my Azure machine and workspace and I want to make sure it is secured behind me on network and I, I want to know what sort of private endpoints that I need to create well this is a very specific virtual networking question if you don't know this topic that's fine this is just an example so I have already copied the question so let me paste it here what private endpoints are needed for creating Azure ML behind VNet let's see if we can retrieve the information from the, the website that uh, that is indexed which is learn.microsoft.com to give me the answer with uh, the reference so I just type my question and there we go so it gave me the answer yes these are the components that comes with Azure ML and they need their own private endpoints and interestingly it gave me the reference so I clicked on it there you go private endpoints for Azure machine learning and I can check the rest of the documentation with much more details here you know what we can actually start asking about this service that we're using how can I create a chatbot a GPT chatbot using power Virtual agents you know why I'm testing it because as we saw the documentation got released in March a couple of months ago that time chat GPT when they train chat GPT and GPT models it was I think back until 2021 so I want to sh make sure that I am using a bot that is connected to, to the live data available over my website, not something that has been potentially memorized by GPT, which is not the case here. So let's ask this. 
How can I? Okay, I asked that. Actually, I asked a question about this service that I'm using, which is in preview. And I want to know if it knows the context and it can help me to figure that out or not. There you go. It gave me the answer. Let's check that out. This is exactly the document that I started at the beginning of the video published on March. So that means it has been connected to my website, like Bing Search, that can get the index results and use the power of large language models to answer my question is a, in a conversational manner. Not only that, let's say, actually, I, let me show you something. If I click on topics, you can see that when I created this chatbot, it automatically generated some topics for me by default. For example, if the user say goodbye, what going to be the phrases? Bye, bye for now, goodbye, no thank you, goodbye stuff. So if any of these keywords going to be appeared in the chat, then this is what we're going to do after. This is the condition. If It's like a low code or no code solution. That's how we can generate sort of an answer based on the specific phrases that the user going to ask. And you can see that I turned off all these topics that means I'm totally relying on GPT to answer questions without me doing any set of topics quest Q&A set up here to let the chatbot answer those questions right but in case if you want to create a specific topic for any reason that is needed there is also another cool feature called create a topic with copilot that means instead of you saying that goodbye see you later i'm done blah 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 to let the chatbot knows that these are the statement that indicates the user is done let gpt or copilot create those samples for you to save your time for example here again that was a learn.microsoft.com example but here let's say you have a restaurant uh, that is your let's say making pizza and now you want to help to create a topic that when someone order a pizza how they can choose based on your pizza choice pizza choices and how how many they want to order so you want to give this topic to the chatbot to be prepared if a user asks anything related to this topic here are the answers so instead of you doing that manually you just ask copilot that hey let someone order pizza let's call it actually test whatever or no, it's actually, let's be more precise, ordering pizza. Create. And there you go, look at that. The phrases got automatically created. I want to order pizza. Can I get a pizza? I'd like to order some pizza, ordering pizza, blah, blah, blah. This is pretty, pretty powerful. And you can also edit this on fly. You don't, it's not a must to use them. I don't want to create any topic. I'm good with as is. I turn off all of them, but just want to show you that's another capability added. And let's say now you want to publish this, and if you click on publish and click on publish here, which I already did, which why it says my bot is published and good to go. That means now I can connect that bot to a variety of different places. Let me show you. If I go to channels, you can create it in your own website. So now you will have a chatbot like this that are going to be enabled on your website. So your users or visitors can ask questions about your company, about your website, about how to contact you, about seeing you a demo or about your working hours, anything. You can connect it to the different messaging channels like Slack, Telegram, WhatsApp, Line, whatever, and even email, Facebook. So here are some channels that as of now, they have well integrated with these power wheelchair agents. You can enable them or even Microsoft Teams to let yourself and rest of your team in Microsoft Teams use this and start asking these questions within Teams chat. And lastly, you can also on fly test the bot before even publishing. So if you go to overview and click on test bot. Oh, sorry, not here. If I go to publish and after you publish, try out the bot using this demo website. This is sort of a demo UI that comes with the chatbot that I can ask the same question about any any Azure service, any Microsoft service to get the documentation relevant to that. And let's actually try another question. For example, there is a service in Azure DevOps called Azure Artifacts, and I, I just heard about it as an example. I want to see what is Azure Artifacts in Azure DevOps, right? So I just type my question 
And there you go, Azure Artifacts enable developers to share their code efficiently and manage. This is exactly true. I just want to make sure I click on the reference and there you go. It immediately grabbed the latest documentation about Azure Artifacts under Azure DevOps documentation. Again, this was just an example. <laughs> go ahead, grab any public website, your company website, whatever you have to develop, as long as it is indexed under a search engine and available on public internet use it and start creating a chatbot to ask any specific questions that you have quite honest this is extremely powerful and what just what i just did was a very short and even high level overview of sharing with you art of possibilities and let you open up your mind to think about what you can do in your domain in your company with your products with your ideas whatever you're working on this is really my intention here and give it a try. I add the documentation of this new chat GPT chatbot in the video description. And please let me know uh, what else you would like to know. Any comments, suggestions, feedbacks. And if you like the video, I would be very thankful if you like and share. That will certainly help others to get to know more about these other possibilities and have further feedbacks about other people, which is supporting me to know what else I can support you with creating more and more contents and topics. And I hope you enjoyed this video. That's all. How do we command respect? Well, number one, talk and move slowly. Only people with no control talk fast and hectic. Number two, understand that you have power when you serve people, not commanding people. Number three, never complain. Number four, crunch your ego down to zero. Your ego should be the dust under your shoes. And lastly, take one element in your life that can be your family, God, whatever. Take it and honor it. Dream big, my friends. Believe in yourself and take action. Till next video, take care.